Hi there. Have you had an opportunity to become a leader or have you thought about taking a leadership path or someone in your in your community or a group that you're involved with asked you to take a leadership position and you're like, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You got the wrong person. That's not for me. Today, I wanna to talk to you. I wanna to talk to you about the dangers of making personal assumptions about leaders. My name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational success. And this is Leadership Matters. So while we're talking about assumptions, let me just read to you the definition of an assumption. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. So we make a lot of assumptions in life, right? We make assumptions every day, all of us do. Sometimes without even thinking about it, we make an assumption. We have inaccurate or incomplete information and we just fill the void ourselves based on our own values, our own beliefs, our own knowledge or um, experience that we've had in an area. So today I wanna to talk to you about those personal assumptions that may be holding you back from taking on a leadership position because you just think you don't have what it takes. Assumption number one, leaders know it all. Leaders have to be an expert in what they're doing. That is a misnomer. Oftentimes leaders don't know it all. You know, leaders may have some expertise in their area, but that doesn't mean that every question that they have, they have an answer to every question or that they know everything about everything or even everything it is to know about their area of expertise. Good leaders will tell you, great leaders will tell you what they don't know. They'll say, hey, I don't know that, but let me find out the answer or together we can find out the answer to that information or to that question to get you accurate information. Even if leaders know the answer to a question, a great leader will help you to navigate through the problem to find your own resolution. Because what will happen when they're not there? A great leader will give you the tools to be able to problem solve on your own and to navigate issues on your own to a resolution. Assumption number two is that leaders must make every decision. Again, another wrong assumption. Effective leaders often will toss the decision back out to the team to get a collective perspective, an outside perspective from their own, to see whether expertise might be in the, you know, in the discussion, what other ways you can think outside of the box and come up with creative, effective solutions to the problem, even if they are solutions that the leader themselves did not come up with. Oftentimes, they throw it back out for a sense of ownership, because if you feel like you're a part of the solution, then together you'll link arms and make sure that you can resolve the issue at hand. Assumption number three, that leadership requires a formal role and or title. We have talked about before the fact that sometimes leaders just emerge, that just because someone has a title, a position, a role and responsibilities does not make them a leader and certainly doesn't make them an effective leader. There are people that you go to now in your department, in your organization, in your group, in your family that you go to for wisdom because um, you see them as a leader. You see them as uh, someone who can give you direction, who can point you in the right direction, someone who can give you additional information for you to consider, someone who you find to be integral, authentic, someone that you believe has your best interest at heart, someone who has some expertise and who knows what they're doing and has had some success in those areas. Those are the people who you consider leaders. Leaders are denote, not denoted solely by title and or um, responsibility. Uh, another assumption that we have when it relates, as it relates to leaders is that um, leaders are without flaw. Leaders are human and leaders are going to make mistakes. So if you think that a leader is perfect, and if you think that perfection is what's holding you back, I want you to think again. Really some of the best leaders talk about how they evolved from failure, like how they fell and they got back up again. And so has every decision that I've made either as a manager or an elected official been great? No, 
I do the best that I can do with the information I'm given at the time to make the most accurate decision I can. I vet it. I do my research. Um, sometimes I, you know, there have been opportunities in my career where I've kind of gone with my gut. And sometimes those things work out and sometimes they don't. Even with the best research, sometimes things work out and sometimes things don't. All you can do is to be authentic and transparent and say, you know, this didn't work. This is what we're going to do to try again. I think that as long as you look at, it's okay to have examples. We talk about examples in impactful leadership, in the impactful leadership series, have examples of places or people that, you know, embody the qualities and characteristics of a leader that you want to be, but be reasonable in that. And also understand there's a lot of things that happen behind closed doors that you have no idea how you how people got to that decision. It's been a lot of tense moments in my career and, you know, all or nothing. If you make the wrong decision, it's going to be a problem. But you try your best to, like I said, make the right decision and you try to keep people in the loop of the process. Like these are the pros and the cons. This is where we are. This is what I'm basing their decision on. What are your thoughts? You try to get the input from your team so that it's a joint decision where it can be. And there sometimes is a leader where quite frankly, you're the head and the decision is going to rest with you. The ultimate decision, even if you've thrown it out to your team, ultimately you will be the one held accountable and responsible for that decision. So um, I'm trying to be more concise in the videos and just give you these um, quick tips on what to look for in leadership. I'm trying to um, give you everyday common sense applicable tips and things that you can consider Everybody doesn't want to be a leader and that's okay. And I've talked about that um, before uh, with clients. Everybody doesn't want to be a supervisor. Everybody doesn't want to be a manager. Everybody doesn't want to be a director. Everybody doesn't want to be a CEO, but people want to develop where they are. Individual contributors want to make, they want to make a contribution where they are. They want to grow, you know, and evolve. Even if they stay in that same department, the same position, they want to get better over time. They want to know more. They want to learn more. They just don't necessarily know that they want to be responsible for other people in the process. So this is designed to help you. Perhaps it's not leadership in your organization. Perhaps it's not running for office and being elected office. Maybe it's just working where you are, because as I said before, every contribution contributes to the whole. Every piece of the puzzle, every part is important. That's what makes the entire picture. So wherever you are, I don't want you to set up self-imposed personal assumptions that become obstacles to your growth and your development. We're all human. We're all trying to, you know, get from point A to point B. We're all trying to walk in purpose. We're all trying to be impactful. We're all trying to, you know, um, help where we can. And so you just have to figure out where that is for you. And these tools are applicable at any level. At any level, if you are already a leader and you want to get better, these tools will help you. If you're not a leader and you're considering it, these tools will help you. Honesty is the best policy. An honest, authentic um, leader with integrity, that's going to help you at any level. That's going to help you even if you're not a leader, even if you're an individual contributor, even just in, in life period. To be a person of integrity with a moral compass. So um, if you have any questions, or comments, please leave them below. I want to hear your thoughts about leadership and what you what assumptions you may have made in your career that you've overcome or things that you're thinking about now that you're still challenged with. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that like hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new content upload weekly and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload some some new content. Thanks, everybody.